Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101. For today, I'm going to show you guys how to make an atsara in a very, very easy way and very, very simple recipe. Um, actually, when you buy this papaya, you guys, it says uh, papaya for cooking. So this is it. This is how it looks like. I was supposed to grate this one before I'll show you guys all of my ingredients. But I decided to uh, leave the papaya itself so I can show you guys step by step on how to make the papaya. So anyhow, okay, we have the papaya here. We have here one head of garlic. And then we have here some carrots. Um cut thinly and lengthwise. I think they call it julienne. I don't know guys, I didn't study uh, for uh, cooking, so I think that is that is how they call it, julienne. J-U-L-L-I-E-N-E. -E. I think it's in French, I'm not sure. So anyhow, don't quote me on that, okay? Um, over here, we have the red and yellow bell pepper. And again, it's uh, sliced thin. I have the pineapple here. Yes, guys, I'm using, I'm going to use pineapple for my atsara. And for the rest of our ingredients, I have honey here. I have the regular vinegar. And for my own atsara, I'm going to use also the white wine vinegar. There's a lot of version on how you make uh, atsara from papaya, but this is my own version and this is my own recipe. And uh, the rest of the ingredients, we have here um, some raisins and again sugar. I only have uh, a little bit uh, left for sugar, you guys, but I only need two tablespoons of sugar for this um, uh, salad. And we have here a uh, whole black peppercorn and the pineapple that I use, I, I uh, use the uh, Dole pineapple tidbits. And guys, this pineapple here, every time you, you um, buy uh, pineapple in a can, it always has the juice in it, right? For those people, they throw it out. But for me, I make it into my own juice. So this is my own juice, you guys. All you have to do is pour the liquid from this um, can to your to your glass or to my uh, garapon <laughs> this is my jar so you put the juice here and then i put a lot of ice and i took three tablespoon of the fresh pineapple and i put it over here so look at you guys and this is going to be my juice for today while i'm making the papaya I recommend to do this, guys, because it tastes very good. You don't have to put any sugar or anything. It's just the juice from the can. Put a lot of ice and you have your pineapple juice, which is one of my favorite. So anyhow, I'm going to show you guys how to make the papaya, how to prepare the papaya, okay? So let's do it step by step and I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, friends, this is how our papaya looks like right now. They look like shredded cheese. Um, I use the cheese shredder and I use the big hole. Because if you guys um, have this kind of uh, grater, uh, the back is very small. And so I use the big ones. All right. And every time you uh, make papaya salad, especially at Sarah, sometimes you can't prevent of having this... Um, things here at the very end so i decided not to mix that one so th this is our papaya now guys so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put two tablespoons of salt we're going to mix it on here and what we're going to do is we have to remove all the juice from this papaya okay so let's do that so two tablespoons of salt and we just have to sprinkle it okay and we need to remove all the juice from this papaya see all this juice we have to remove those juice if you guys have cheesecloth it's the best to use but um, it's not available in my kitchen right now so I'm just doing it manually and then you put it in a clean container all the ones that you you guys see it all the juice we have to take the juice out okay
Okay. So we're going to repeat this procedure three times just to make sure that our papaya doesn't have any juice on it anymore. So we're going to do this one three times. After I do this, we're going to put it back on our flower green bowl. Okay, you guys. So with the first round, this is how much juice we remove from the papaya. Okay, friends, the next thing we're going to do, our step number three, is we're going to put all the papaya that we, we did earlier here back to the bowl. And then we're going to add all of our ingredients. So we're going to add the carrots, the garlic, the yellow and red bell peppers and last but not the least our pineapple there you go and the raisins this one here okay just hold on okay so i'm gonna add Some raisins. If you guys don't like raisins, you guys don't have to add. But raisins always create a good flavor for our uh, atsara. So there you go. There. So I use the big spoon. The big spoon. So probably like three of the big spoon, or probably this is equivalent to six tablespoon. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mix all of them. All right. You guys have to mix this one very well. And then um, I'm going to show you guys how to make the sauce for this one. For some people that mix atsara, they just use a regular vinegar. But for me, I'm going to use the white wine vinegar and I'm going to mix the regular uh, vinegar with that. And I'm also going to use honey for this one. So... And then we're going to put this one in a jar or in a container. Okay, friends, so this is my jar. This is where I'm going to put my atsara. Um, with the jar, I don't think you guys need to sterilize it. I think as long as it's clean and it's okay. But if you guys want to sterilize your jar before putting your atsara in, that, that will be also okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put all of, all of our atsara in this jar. the small one I'm gonna give that to my sister-in-law <laughs> I think I can create one more okay friends since we have a lot of achara so I have this that one big jar there and two of the little ones here I'm going to double my sauce okay but if you guys have a little bit then you know um, you can um, lessen the amount so Let's make the sauce for this one, okay? So for the sauce, we're going to use one cup of vinegar, the regular vinegar. All right. Let me put the stove on simmer. So two cups of the uh, white wine vinegar. Okay, so white wine vinegar. One, two. 
use any kind of white wine vinegar it doesn't have to be Bertoldi. How much uh, vinegar I'm going to use for my atsara? It can be, um, it's too much or it can be less, but you know, it's better that we have enough, right? Add two tablespoons of sugar. One. Two. Ah, let's make it two and a half. There you go. Two tablespoons of honey. There you go. And of course, we're going to put the black pepper. There you go. And then we're just going to let this one simmer, you guys, okay? Once it's simmer, we're going to let it stand for at least an hour and wait for it to cool off before we add it into our atsara salad. We don't want to add the sauce in a um, you know, very hot stage because we don't want the papaya and the rest of our ingredients to cook, right? So we're going to let it stand for an hour before we mix, we mix it to our uh, atsara. So for the meantime, we have to wait for it to simmer. Okay, friends, so this is our sauce for our atsara. I turned off the stove already. And we're just going to let this one uh, cool off. Uh, make sure it's really, you know, um, not warm before we add this one on our atsara. Okay, friends, our sauce is ready. So we're just going to um, pour it on our jars. I'm going to use a strainer, okay? Because we don't need to put the peppercorn inside the jar. Again, guys, make sure that the uh, sauce is cold enough. Not really, like, cold. Like, you know, so that our papaya is not going to cook. And let's do the other jars. Okay guys, this is our finished product. This is our atsara. So we're going to let this one to stay in the fridge uh, for 24 hours before we eat this, okay? There you go. I just uh, pour uh, on the sauce. So anyhow, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe, okay? Um, for those of you who subscribe on my channel, thank you guys for subscribing. I hope you guys like this at, at Sarah. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day everyone. And may the good Lord bless us all.